stores and X's here, and, uh, and this one is just going to be in the code because, well, um, I can't really show this one. I mean, I could, but I'd have two options. One, I'd have to write an X-ray hack, which, and funnily enough, is something I'm actually working on. I'm working on a hack client, not because I'm going to release it to anyone or even use it on any servers, but because I think it's, you know, something fun to do and in this few minutes of spare time I have I had some code here and there pretty much all I finished is the DLL injector I've yet to write any actual hacks but you know it's very difficult how you have to do it but if I do finish it I'll go ahead and show it in a video but I'm going to tell you right now I'm not going to give it to anyone literally anyone so don't ask moving on we are going to talk about how to change uh, biomes, uh, specifically how to change what spawns in the biomes and uh, things like fog and temperature and whatnot. So let's start with fog and temperature because that's uh, that's really the easy thing here. So we're in the snow biome here. Uh, if you are curious how to find these biomes, if you go to the biome XML file, which as I said in several videos before, uh, I am not going to show you how to get to these XML files every time. You can go watch my first and second videos, both of which have the tutorial of how to get here, what programs you need to get in here, and you know, after that I'm just going to ex expect that you guys know how to get into here. So you can see here these are the different biomes you have snow forest plain forest plains desert water radiated wasteland burnt forest city city wasteland wasteland hub cave floor and cave ceiling these two i don't think are freaking biomes kind of curious about that now but anyway you have uh, two options here you can either control f and search for zero one which i would highly recommend not doing because you will end up with shit like this so you type in snow and you know you're gonna end up with a couple of these but uh... what you want to do is just go to wow wow that was weird just go to the top and just type in snow i didn't click i'm just going to click through until i find it but what you are going to be looking for and where is it come on there we go you want to find things like snow main biome. Actually, probably the best way to do this would be to take the uh, type in uh, main afterwards. So let's say radiated main, and there you go, radiated main biome. But these are commented out sections, so changing that won't actually help. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to adjust the different temperatures. Also, you know, you can completely take out the radiation. You know, zero. There we go. It's no longer an issue. The weather, uh, temperature minimum and maximum. I'm sure you understand how this works. It falls within these group of numbers. So if you want the, say, this biome up, honestly, I'm going to do this with the snow biome so it makes more sense. Um, oh, snow, snow, main, duh, dipshit. Anyway, um, you are going to uh, be able to change these so if you want it to just be an average temperature you can go ahead and just set it to like 40 uh, not negative 40 just regular 40 and maximum say like I don't know 50 you can make it whatever you want you can make both the same number and it will stay that number uh, probability equals 1 that just changes the temperature between the biomes at a random integer of 1 so you know uh, that's pretty much how that works. I don't know if that made any sense, but you know, between 40 and 50, you know, if you want to change temperatures, go ahead and do that. You can uh, change the cloud thickness, and uh, which this is pretty much the fog. For me, I find fog extremely annoying. It pretty much blurs out my screen to the point of just completely uselessness. So I just change that to zero minimum. God. 95 God, that was terrible screw fog I hate fog uh, precipitation is rain you can change these numbers to zero if you never want it to rain you can change both numbers to 100 if you want it to rain the whole time wind I mean wind doesn't really affect a whole hell of a lot I think it has a little effect on temperature but if you raise the temperature to a setting that you are happy with and uh, yeah oh actually in this it says uh this doesn't happen in here this is actual code that's being executed it is checking to see if there's a seventy percent cloud thickness to make sure it can rain first so if you actually set this below seventy percent or seventy then it will never rain 
Uh, you can't actually change that code in here. You would have to actually hack the game like I'm currently trying to do. And um, I'm not going to get into that because by showing you how to change things like that, I can show you how to change things like weapon damage and whatnot on other people's servers, which will lead to a situation where I have created an entire breed of hackers running around trolling people, which, while I think that would be moderately funny, I don't think uh, it would uh, earn me a lot of points in the seven days to die community. Let's be honest here. So, that is how to change temperature, fog, and whatnot. Um, let's go ahead and talk about these ores and whatnot. Because, well, if you have played this game for a bit, you have uh, realized that ores are fucking nowhere. Like, just nowhere at all. It's terrible, but now potassium nitrate here is a uh, is the what's it called the uh, stuff you need to make gunpowder with, and I'm gonna just show you something real quick. Um, what's a different biome? Forest main. Forest main. All right. <coughs> sorry. Hopefully, I remember to edit that cough out, but I seem to always forget. So I'm sorry. As you can see, in forest we have lead, in snow we have the potassium nitrate and all that and things like that. So basically what this means is lead spawns in forest and potassium nitrate spawns in snow. Now maybe you don't like this change. Uh, I personally don't know how I feel about this yet. I think uh, having to create mines within different biomes is a you know little annoying to me. So probably on my next playthrough I'm just going to go ahead and just follow this all you have to do is to copy and then uh, let's say we are living in a snow biome so we're gonna copy that and literally all you have to do is find where potassium nitrate is click on the end enter start a new line and control V the lead ore into there you can also change the probability of spawning the lead ore uh, the thing is you gotta remember this is a 11%. This is out of one, not out of a hundred. So don't go, you know, putting this to like 97. And that'll thinking, you know, oh yeah, I would keep this uh, like 0.2. It's probably the most you. That'll spawn quite a bit, but it'll still kind of be cheesy. I'm going to leave them exactly how they are because this is a mod I'll actually probably use. Uh, just leave them the way or the point eleven three zero. I you know that'll keep it balanced. You you won't see too much of it. It won't be like alpha fourteen point seven where you find just endless clusters of the stuff. It's just just a regular amount of ore. Um, and then if you you know if you really want to make this biome have everything, you're going to have to go and find all of them. So let's go for desert main. Uh, I believe this has um. What? Wait, what? I see iron deposit here. What? What is... Or oil deposit. What? what? Sorry. I don't want to know if that's actually a thing, but yeah, okay. Um, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, this has iron and gravel, so uh, let's go uh, back up and... Let's just go ahead and search main, and I'll go through all these water uh, that's not useful radiated wasteland wasteland that doesn't have anything particularly useful I don't believe has potassium nitrate as well uh, we are looking for wasteland main local core potassium nitrate burnt forest and and here you will find what will you find this is iron I'm looking for coal. I don't know which biome it is off the top of my head. Uh, city biome, that's... I don't believe this will actually have a set. Yeah, this is not uh, generated for mining. Oh, uh, it actually it is. Potassium nitrate, okay. Uh, city main biome. Uh, potassium nitrate as well. Alright. And we got snow, forest, Am I missing coal? What am I missing? I'm sure it's here somewhere and I just didn't notice it. 
uh, pine forest. That's lead as well. Where the hell is it? Plains. Iron ore. Oh, yep, it's in plains. Okay. Which is even more annoying because I see potassium nitrate several times, lead I think two times, and just, uh, you know, silver, gold, and diamonds spawn at random intervals everywhere. But, yeah, coal seems quite rare. So I'm absolutely going to go ahead and you know, do the exact same thing I did before. I'm just scrolling up. I could just click the mouse wheel, but then I'd have to put down the joint that I'm absolutely not holding in my right hand right now. So, yeah. Uh, where the hell is the snow biome main? Here it is. And lead ore. I have two of them in there because apparently it already has a lead ore spawner that I absolutely did not fucking read because I have the... I just... I have the... In, I have the highest levels of ineptitude a person can possibly achieve. That's really all there is to it. <coughs> yeah, that I'm definitely going to miss at least one of those coughs. Let's hope I can get one of them, but chances are I won't because, again, highest levels of ineptitude possibly achievable by human. So I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I really, really need to show you in here? Uh, stuff like this is not actually very, you know, necessary to, uh, worry about I mean it's just kind of uh, the stuff that spawns here you can uh, you know like these uh, blueberries you can cause blueberries to spawn in other biomes um, snow sub biome grass and blueberries yeah you can just put those into you'd have to put those in the right location though so uh, let's say you do want blueberries to grow in the bloody desert if let's just do that uh, desert main all right, you got to come down to the sub biome section here, where you find this crap. Where somewhere between tree and cactus, you're well. Wait, what? Tree cat? Oh yeah, somewhere between shrub and cactus, you're going to want to just throw in your blueberries. Make sure everything's all nice and neat. It won't actually affect the code if it's not, but it looks better. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do for that. Same thing, if you want cactuses to spawn somewhere else. Um, the random cars, you can just completely take out cars if you want. You just delete this line, and there won't be cars in the desert biome anymore. I don't know why anyone would want that. I'm curious as to what in the fuck a oil deposit is. Uh, if anyone knows, leave that in the comments. But yeah, I, I guess it makes sense to be able to mine oil. I don't know. Um, yeah, so, that's, uh, I'm just kind of looking at this, what, I'm trying to think about what this would go to, type prefab, type block, name, re because at first I thought when it said decoration, maybe this is just the actual, okay, I know what this is. Um, if whatever you are taking into your biome, you're going to want to make sure you have the resource coal pile. Yeah. All right. Copy things like that. And when you come up here, where is it? Um, come on. We got to find snow main. Snow main. All right. I may actually have them already, though. Uh, I should have looked into this part. I actually didn't look into this at all. Yeah. Um, decorations. See, this biome has potassium nitrate by default. Yeah, I um, I'm think I'm wrong about this. I think I'm absolutely wrong. I don't think this actually has anything to do with the game. Uh, this will work. Yeah. This is, I, at first I thought maybe this is the texture that it's putting on to the things, but now that I think about it, it would just be completely, like, just stupid to have uh, you declaring the textures per biome. They should declare the textures in the actual code to the game, which is, uh, you know, that's why I am trying to make it. Okay, let's, I'm going to try and put this in layman terms. Uh, the textures, uh, they don't call to the file 
that has the textures on them and here they do it in the actual code to the game which is what I'm trying to do though which will allow me to make a x-ray mod or hack really and I will be able to modify the code of the game to so when it calls to like stone textures it just returns a transparent sheet and I can look through the ground and just see like okay there's nitrate coal and whatnot over there and things like that very similar to x-ray hacks for uh, Minecraft if you've ever seen one of those uh, doo -doo -doo. Subbiome lead or subbiome corn. Yep, and this is, I'm pretty sure that's absolutely where it's calling to the uh, textures here. But yeah, that will work. Um, pretty much all you have to do, like I said, was copy and paste whatever or line you want into these lines right here. And then um, the only other thing you really have to do, or if you really want to is change the probability as far as temperature fog and cloud thickness go it's all pretty self-explanatory min max change the numbers to whichever you would like probability is the same way also it is 0 to 1 not 1 to 100 so don't be putting this to like 85 thinking you know that's an 85 percent chance no that's an 850 percent chance you've actually given it so 0 to 1 um, anyway, that's really it. Can't really show any of this in game because again, don't have an X-ray hack, and I am not uh, going to go dig around in the dirt for an hour just to prove to you guys that shit spawns. But that's it, really. Um, I hope this uh, helps out. I hope you find some of the stuff you like mining. And uh, yeah, you know, overall, this is kind of one of those mods where I just think this is uh, if you didn't like the update, this is kind of how you revert it. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed, uh, and as always, peace out. See you in the next one.